In the suburbs of Paris, a Jewish family gathers to read the Torah. Soon, they will be gone. They're part of a growing number of French Jews who are leaving France because the future simply looks too dangerous. Before World War II, European Jews waited too long to leave, and then they were trapped. French Jews don't want to make the same mistake again. In January, demonstrators in Paris shouted, we don't want Jews, and gave the Nazi salute. It was a chilling reminder of France's World War II past, when Jews were deported to concentration camps. This family agreed to be interviewed only if their identities were hidden because they fear a backlash from French society. In a few months, they'll leave for Israel. They told us they wanted to go when they could leave on their terms, instead of someday having to flee for their lives. We're not really afraid, but seeing the murders last year in Toulouse and what happened at the Jewish Museum in Brussels, we're afraid for our children and what could happen to them and think about it every day. The mother in this Jewish family has already been called a dirty Jew by the neighbors. She's instructed her daughter how to slip her Star of David inside her blouse when she goes outside and has told her sons to be careful about when they wear their kippahs. They have worn the kippah since they were very young, but over the past few years I have told them maybe it's better not to wear it sometimes. There is a strong feeling inside the French Jewish community that it's time to leave. Philippe Carcetti is deputy mayor in the city of New Yi and a Jew. You can't have a dinner, a conversation with a Jew without having this topic mentioned. Shall we stay or shall we leave? There are only about 400,000 Jews in France and they're outnumbered by Arabs and Muslims by perhaps 15 to 1 or more. And that gap is growing every day. There have been close to 8,000 anti-Semitic incidents in France since 2000. And every time Israel acts in self-defense against the Palestinians, the danger increases. France's Arab and Muslim citizens have staged large and more violent demonstrations, including one in which 200 Jews were trapped inside a synagogue. At a synagogue near Paris, Rabbi Mikhail Azoulay says the number of Jews coming to him for a certificate of Jewishness in order to go to Israel has gone way up in the past year. It started around last July. We have had many requests from families, not just from our community, but from other communities in Paris. People who came to us and requested certificates for the Jewish agency in the hope of possibly going to Israel. It's estimated that as many as 5,000 Jews could leave France this year. The exodus of the Jews is a disaster for the French government, which keeps condemning the anti-Semitic attacks, but cannot stop them. Let me just uh, emphasize, we do not live in an anti-Semitic country. Dr. Richard Prasquier is past president of CRIF, France's National Association of Jews. I do not accept the fact that France is an anti-Semitic country. France is not an anti-Semitic country. This government, the previous government, have absolutely no anti-Semitic anti ideas. The French government is doing what it can, but it's difficult to do more because the problem is so overwhelming. The government cannot prevent every attack. Jews do blame the French media for the rise in anti-Semitism because of the way it attacks Israel on a daily basis. The media have been inciting against Israel and the Jews for more than a decade. We are fed up with the image of Israel that is uh, continuously repeating itself. When you watch TV, when you listen to the radio or when you read newspapers, you always feel hate message against Israel. Not all French Jews are in danger, and not all Jews who are leaving France are doing it because of anti-Semitism. Some are leaving because of the bad economy. But three out of four say they're thinking about leaving, and 95% are worried about anti-Semitism. Actually, we're concerned now that the government will not be able to set things right, to stop the attacks, and that worries me. French Jews now face a perfect storm. With a war in Gaza, growing numbers of French Muslims, and the growing popularity of the far-right National Front. Jews are being insulted and threatened, not only by Muslims, but also by members of the far-right and by leftists who hate Israel. This family is looking forward to their new life in Israel, 
without persecution. We will be able to breathe freely in Israel, and I will be happy to see my children live more freely as Jews there. French leaders know that when Jews have to leave, it means the nation is sick. Jews are a litmus test of what's going on. It's not only Jews who will leave the country, it's not only France who will go down the drain, it's not only Europe, it's the entire Western world, including the United States. Dale Hurd, CBN News, Paris.